What does Satoshi Nakamoto mean to you? So when you told me about that guy, uh, I went Googling, looking for uh, the person, like what we kind of tend to do, look at his LinkedIn profile, who's the gentleman. Uh, I couldn't find much, but uh, because the technology uh, did make sense to me, um, it also did make sense to me uh, because the current, current financial system uh, needs to be changed, and we all know that, uh, um, that somebody who is um, visionary understands obviously technology he couldn't uh, put himself out there here i am because it's uh, easier for um, the governments to shut him down because ha that's how they feed themselves from the current financial system it was somebody who is visionary uh, i was not surprised that that's japanese name even though i don't know his real name um my first business was in wellness in canada wellness was born in japan they're very proactive thinkers so uh yeah i mean that's I looked at somebody who is uh, who is a true leader, uh, who knew what he is doing, and uh, he did the logical steps. Uh, well, I believe that uh, uh, Satoshi Nakamoto was more than one person, and I'm not. I won't go naming any names, but uh, but we all know. Okay, even the one who really would love to have us think that he's that he's Satoshi. Uh, and, and I won't mention any names, but uh, but he he might have been an actual part of the original the the of uh, the original uh, group, but the main dude uh, has been deceased for a few years. I think I would say it means to me someone or something that saw the future in the sense where. All right, look in the media right now. Look at GameStop. Let's let's point that out. What happened with that? We had a company that might have been undervalued for sure, but for you to short a stock up to 160% to think it's gonna fail, what happened there? Then the people realized it and they bought the stock and some people made crazy wealth. But the problem with the stock market is, these guys paused the market, they halt the market, they grabbed their soccer ball, went home and came back with their brothers and they changed the margins. And that's the problem. That's why Satoshi decentralized money exchanges means a lot to me because look what's going on right now. Like the wealth was being passed to the people on an app called Robinhood and they paused it and they suspended trading. That is not fair. So Bitcoin means freedom to me, man. Satoshi means freedom to me, man. Like. We need to power whoever we can and not have it manipulate. Can we all be played by the same rules? When I sign into my stock app, it says risk at your own, right? Why isn't it for them? So what? They had one week where they lost 91 billion. How much money do we lose? Okay. So what does Satoshi Nakamoto mean to you? <laughs> Satoshi Nakamoto pseudonym for sure. I don't know. I don't know like what it means. I remember when they found that dude named Satoshi and everybody was like bothering him for a couple of years. Um, I don't think that's him. Um, I don't know. I, I genuinely can't, um, I can't figure out. Maybe he's Hal Finney, you know, but maybe, I don't know. And what is just the, the whole movement behind it mean? Like, let's whether it's a person or organization, like, what is your like opinion of that? Like, as like a social movement, I think it's a really interesting story that like he came from uh, the name. He was around for a couple of years after he initially created Bitcoin, and then he just disappeared. He's like, I'm on to bigger, better things. So like, what could be bigger and better than that? Um, maybe he recognized that it was you know starting to get traction and things were starting to move, he's like, okay, I'm going to be a target. I'd better get out of here. Or, you know, he was Hal Finney and he wanted to like readapt his, his name as like not the creator, but like a guy that was an early investor. I, I, don't, I don't know if he had a movement behind what he wanted to do. I had to do something with the financial crisis of 2008, but other than that, I'm not like too well versed on it. A pioneer, to be honest. Um... It's such a, it's one of those like questions that'll never be answered, sort of like the God question where 
for somebody to come and drop this type of, of knowledge and this type of thought out plan and well executed plan, I mean, we're talking 10 years, 11 years after the fact, even 12 years now, it's 2021. And it's, it's pretty profound how in depth and, and in tune to what the future developments of economic markets and, and some of the things that Satoshi Nakamoto identified in his initial 2009 white paper. Um, so it, it, it's pretty profound. Like I don't even know where to begin to scratch the surface in terms of who he is or, or what the real story is. Because for somebody to be able to drop that type of knowledge on the world and then just disappear, I mean, not one of the coins have moved. We're at a point where I mean, Bitcoin's valued around 40,000 US dollars, and it's pretty profound for any human to have that type of uh, in, insight to, to not be able to touch those funds. So I don't know if he was Hal Finney and somebody who has, has passed away to not have those temptations that the average human would have when you have an asset that is worth now billions of dollars to not move one coin. It's pretty... Uh, I mean, self-control to say the least, if, if he's still around to this day. CIA or the Russian government. So that's, that's who you think is the creators behind this? Uh, it can't be one person. There's no way that, that is just one person. That's like a huge team who did that. Oh. I think it's the CIA or the Russian government. Most likely the Russian government. How come you think it's uh, associated to a government as opposed to just like cyberpunks or some kind of alternative like that? Uh, the way it lasted that long, uh, uh, how solid it is, it uh, didn't get hacked for like more than a decade. It could never be a one person or just like a small team. That's like some uh, government thing for, for a very specific reason. We know Bitcoin's not going anywhere. We know Bitcoin's here to stay. And that's why I would tell anyone to buy a fraction of a coin just to have some to hedge against. But aside from that, any investment someone's going to get in, please do your research. Don't let someone else convince you. I, it blows me away, like, that you, especially you see it in those Reddit forums, people say, huge paragraph, rocket ships, no DD, I'm going all in. It's nice to follow momentum, I agree, but when you get wrecked, who's gonna pay your mortgage? Who's gonna buy you groceries? People are gonna be like, you didn't do your research? And then you're gonna feel like, you know, so in any investment you make, just consult people, read enough until you're comfortable when you have your own conviction. And when you have your own conviction, then you'll be okay when the market is down. And I'm not saying it's not a loss until you sell, but what I mean when like the market's down, you won't have the urge to be like, fuck, let me get, let me, get, let me stop the bleeding, you know? So that's the only thing I want to add, like invest with your, invest, protect your capital like you invest, like you protect your capital as you protect your emotions, guard them well because it's hard to create, especially right now. I think that's it.